Hi, have you ever needed to test something out on a fresh Linux machine? There are several different containerization options on Linux. Probably the most well known is Docker, but I'm going to show you LXC, which is short for Linux containers. LXC offers a different set of features and trade-offs to Docker that can be useful in different situations. In short, it creates a container that is more like a standalone Linux machine. Let's take a look at the features. LXC creates a full system environment. That means it's good for clean room OS testing and full system level tests. You can test against real package managers, init systems, services, and daemons. LXC is persistent by default. Containers maintain state between runs. You can spin up an LXC container, shut it down again, and just like a real machine, it'll retain any changes you make. LXC has good multi-process support. Because it gives you a full OS, it's simple to run multiple scripts or services in parallel, just like on an ordinary Linux box. And finally, LXC has less abstraction layers. When paired with the LXD tooling, it somehow feels closer to the bare metal when you spin up a virtual machine. Let's take a look at using LXC in action. You can install LXC and the LXD suite of tools with apt install LXD installer. This will give you access to the LXC command. The first time you install, you can run the LXD setup wizard. That will create a storage pool, set up networking, and configure other LXD settings. Once you've done that, launching your first LXC container is straightforward. Here we're creating a new Ubuntu 22.04 container, and we've called it UbuBox. The first time you run this, it'll download the container, but after that, creating new containers from the same base is very quick. Once the container's up and running, we use the list command to check it's running, and then we can access the machine by running bash via the exec command. And that's given us access to a fully isolated Ubuntu system that we can poke around in, install things with apt, run scripts, etc. To find other OSs that you can install in an LXC container, use the image list command together with grep. Here we're grepping for Alpine Linux based machines. You can also output in CSV format to get a clearer picture. So this is a good way to explore different OSs from the comfort of your normal machine. By default, your container won't have network access. Let's try pinging 1.1.1.1 to check that. As you can see, none of the packets have gone through. So here's how to set up networking for your container. We can use the network list command and grep for LXDBR0, which is the bridge network that comes with LXD. Let's stop our container with LXC stop ubu box, and then we can attach the bridge device to our internal ETH0 with the network attach command. Once we've done that, we start our machine again. After that, we can access the machine again, and our ping command should now resolve. And here we can see that our container now has network access. Things like installing packages and creating users work just like normal, as this system is basically a full Linux-based system running on top of our existing machine. Here you can see we've created a new user, and we can access the machine as that user directly using sudo-u. Here you can see we've got access to the container as the user we just created. You can also use the console command, which gives you a regular TTY style access. And from there, you can log in as any user, just like normal. And finally, it's also possible to set up SSH and enter the container that way via its internal IP address. That can be useful for testing out remote access commands and simulating network environments. So that's a quick introduction to LXC containers on Linux. I hope that's been useful and uh, best of luck with your own virtualization adventures. Thanks for watching.